Welcome to 100 Days of Logic with Carnades.org and 90 Second Philosophy. Today we are going to be looking at a philosophical distinction between formal and informal logic. In these first couple days, we're really going to be looking at some of the things that we're going to be talking about in the next 100 days and some of the things we're really not going to be talking about in the next 100 days. So, with that out of the way, let's get looking at some definitions. So, formal logic is defined as logic dealing with a form of statements. Formal logic follows rules. Formal logic codifies normal language into something we can work with in kind of a mathematical or quantifiable framework. Formal logic is what we're going to be focusing on in these videos, and formal logic is the general kind of logic that anyone's talking about when they're talking about logic. So, it'll be very useful for you in your logic class or pretty much anywhere. Informal logic, on the other hand, is supposedly logic dealing with the content of statements, but that's a really loose definition because there's not really a good solid understanding of what informal logic would really look like. It has loose guidelines and it's a loose collection and body of work. It's not something that's very specific, and there's a lot of philosophers out there that have actually said that we should just get rid of the idea of informal logic because there's nothing that it really refers to. So, that was the difference between formal and informal logic. Next up, we're looking at the difference between propositional and categorical logic, then the basics of propositional logic, and truth tables. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.